if the video that has been suggested is this one our trading strategy many people want lower time frame uh strategy or lower time frame entries and they don't know how to go about it so i have made this lesson 18 to help you to know how do you come about if you want to use one hour trading time frame so this one hour trading strategy it's everything that i've been saying it's just the time frame that you are changing so how do you go about it there are only three rules that i want to show you uh if you if you decide to trade one hour you have to follow this rule you have to follow this rule so number one number one rule you have to have um uh, have a pattern on higher time frame so you have to have at least a pattern on higher time frame what what this means is that when you have a pattern on higher time frame, let's a double bottom, a double top, cup in hand, or ranging market, each, whichever pattern that you use on a higher time frame, you already know the direction. So when you have a pattern on a higher time frame, this one gives you what? It is helping you for direction. So this one gives you direction. When you have a direction, it is easier to trade one hour. So it gives you direction where the market wants to go. So that is the number one rule. Have a pattern on higher time frame and it will give you direction. So at least you know it is a buy or it is a trend. Uh, it is a, it's a buy or it's a sell. You know if the market is on an uptrend or a downtrend. So that pattern at least will help you, will help you to understand. Another thing, you might not have a pattern, you might not have a pattern, but at least you know the market structure. Market structure. So the market structure can be just pure uptrend. You might know this market is an uptrend. This market is a downtrend. Let me go to one now and look for buy opportunities. So it's not a must, a must, must you have a pattern, but you can still have a pattern, a, a market structure. For instance, <clears throat> if you check this market, this is daily time frame. Already the market structure is a buy. So even if I'm going to one hour, I will not go to look for sale. If I go to one hour, I'll be going to look for what? For buy entries. So the market structure, it's, it's supporting me. And then the market structure that I've said, it's supporting me. And then now I look for a pattern. And then I look for a pattern. Another thing, another thing that you need to check when you're going to, uh, when you're trading one hour, and this I think this is the most important thing, when you're looking for one hour, number three, when you enter one hour, don't hold your trades. Don't hold. So there's no way you can have a one hour entry and then it is a swing trade. It does not work like that. So it can't be a swing trade. So it's either you hold it for a few hours, but it can't be a swing trade. Can't be a swing trade. So the, I think this mistake many people do, um, they enter one hour, but they hold that trade for one week. So that one is not even good. If you enter one hour, make sure in hours you are out of that trade. So the first thing you look for a pattern, it has to have a pattern on higher time frame, And then market structure has to support. If you're buying, let it be a trend. If you're selling, let it be a, a downtrend. And then don't hold the trade. So let's, I will do an example. So the first thing uh, we need, of course, we'll start with the market structure. It is an uptrend, I've said. There's no way I can be going to one hour to look for a sale. I'll be looking for a buy. And then the next thing, a pattern, a Forex pattern. Which pattern do you think we have here? Which pattern do you think we have here? So there's someone who can say we have a double top. There's someone who can say we have a double top. And there's someone who will say we have a double bottom. So which one do you think is the correct pattern? Which one do you think is the correct pattern? Do you think the double... The, the double bottom is the correct pattern or the double top? Which one do you think is the correct pattern? So this double bottom, the neckline <clears throat> is here. This is the neckline. And this double, double top, the neckline is around here. So what you need to understand is that the double top, if I have a double top, what does it give me? Double top, double top will equal sell. And then what does double bottom give me? It, it gives me what? A buy. So 
the pattern that we are interested in is the one that is going with the market structure. So between the two, comment down below, what do you think that is supporting the market structure? Because we can't be blind just, oh, because there's a double top, let's now sell. This selling is not hard, it's not, uh, it's not easy. Why? You are trying to reverse this strong buy. But this double bottom is a continuation of a buy. So we will not concentrate so much with that uh, double top because it's uh, suggesting us to sell, which is like reversing the market and it's not easy. But we will continue with this double bottom because double bottom, once it breaks half, it is goes to the neckline. So we have an idea of this market has already broken half and they are on the way to the neckline. And these are many pips, like say 429 pips. So we already know this market is headed to the neckline and it will give us, uh, it will give us how many pips? 400 and something pips if it goes to the neckline. So already we have that. So you see guys, before even you go to one hour, you have already done your own research. And because we don't want to just enter, that's how you already know you're looking for buy because of a double bottom, because it's an uptrend and you're not going to hold that trade for long. So when we go to four hour, when you go to four hour, you can see now you are, you're thinking, what is this happening? It's like the market has entered this range. So the market has entered this range. And you see the ranging market, if you try to trade this ranging market, like that, if you try to attempt to trade ranging channel, of course, the ranging channel rule says you have to wait for the break above or the break below. And you see now, when you do this, you never enter the trade. Uh, you never have a sniper entry because you will wait for the market to go up and break. So the strategy for one hour is come in hand. Why? Because if you use four hour, you can't enter. If you use daily, daily is telling you the market is selling. But at least when you go now to lower time frame, you 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 will be helped. So when you're going to, to one hour, I want to add something, another rule. When you're going to one hour, the only thing that you can enter using one hour is another pattern, like a double top or double bottom. You don't use candles like bullish and gaff, bearish and gaff, marbles. don't use those candles in one hour. So this one, on four hour, we do not have an entry. So if you don't have that strategy of one hour, you'll be stranded. And that's what I'm saying. This one hour strategy works well because when even you're stranded on four hour, you will even make it with this strategy. So what happens is that you can see, you even don't know, why is this market going down? Is it that it will go and break this? Would I have, must I wait for the market to break this support or I wait it to break a resistance? So you're caught in between. But when you flip on one hour, tell me, what do you see? Comment down below. Which pattern do you see on one hour? Which pattern do you see on one hour? Guys, have you commented? If you have said double bottom, you are fine. You are okay. So this is a double bottom that you're seeing on one hour. Notice on, um, on four hour, we will check, we'll go and check, and you'll see there is nothing. So these are double bottom that you're seeing on one hour. And again, you remember telling you, which time frame is the best? The time frame that is the best is the time frame that has a pattern and the next time frame does not have. So let's see on four hour if we have the same pattern. Can you see we do not have a double bottom? So if at all you ever want to trade lower time frame, like one hour, two hours, just look for a double bottom and make sure that double bottom is not present in four hour. That's the only way you can trade lower time frame. So four hour, we do not have a double bottom. Notice the reason why we even are promoting buys because of the daily what you have seen and everything. So once you come to one hour now, when you come to one hour, we are looking for a current resistance break because that's the strategy we use. So you'll come here and look for CRB. So that's how we enter one hour, one hour entry. We'll still use CRB. So of course we have a CRB there. We are waiting for W. CRB weight current resistance to break. Now we have not measured our half. This is our neckline. And then this is our half. This is our half, guys. I'm showing you how to trade one hour. 
So one hour, as long as you know the history and as long as the double bottom is not on four, you can't trade it. So <clears throat> the market goes up, attempt to break, does not break. For sometimes you're thinking, oh, the market will break and violate this double bottom. If it happens to violate that double bottom, you just use the next one. You use the next one. There's someone who asked me, why do you say possible double bottom and not double bottom? It's possible because the market can still go down. This market you're seeing there, it can still sell and come and activate that. So it's a possible because it has not yet been confirmed. So as you wait, you wait again, you wait again, you seem like, oh, the market we are waiting. You wait again. And this is happening in one hour. And then you get an entry. Guys, can you see how easy it is that? So you'll be coming looking at one hour. Did it give an entry? Did I get an entry? Every one hour. So there's no time to waste. So in, it means every day you can be getting an entry because you have 24 candles to check. So that is up to the half. So let's see. How many pips? 87 pips. 87 pips. So let's see what happens. So the first, the second one hour, and the market activate our take profit. The next thing that you need to do is to do what? To wait for half to be broken. So we are waiting for half to break and half breaks again. What do you think we'll do? We enter again. This one hour strategy, it will be the best. If at all you have watched the best time frame to trade. But then this one won't make much sense if you have not watched lesson, lesson 17. You have to watch lesson 17 to understand this. So how many pips are we targeting? 99, almost 100 pips. Let's see how what happens. And this is one hour. Imagine one hour getting free money and the market has given us an end, uh, has taken us out. And before it has taken out uh, us out, notice it has even broke our neckline. Guys, can you see it has broke our neckline? So what has happened here? Let me remove this uh, on the on the hour. So what has happened here is that this double bottom, once the market breaks neckline, where do you think this market is going? It's going that distance. So the market is going this distance. You see? And they can still approach. And the red line was where our neckline on the daily was. So we will target half because half is always the guaranteed one. Target half. So half will come here and buy again. You can imagine you have entered three times. One, you made 100, 100, 100. You have made almost 300 pips just by trading that one. And we see. And the take profit has been hit. The question is, you have made all this money from the entry area to the take profit. 312 pips. That is the best, best strategy to use. And uh, if you're using one hour, you have to follow the steps. So if I go to four hour, if I go to four hour, by the time four hour is, is breaking the channel, you can see by the time the four hour is breaking this channel that you are seeing, this is the time. So you are being told to enter here but all this move you would have missed from the first level to the half to the neckline you would have missed. So guys, that's how we trade uh, We trade one hour strategy. And many people will be like, why did this market go up and four hours there was no support? The support was available on one hour. So the trick is first understand the, the higher time frame, the direction of the market, the patterns that are there, there. Then go to four hour, try to understand four hour, and then now go even lower, even lower to um to one hour. So you have to practice one hour strategy by by watching lesson seventeen. This is lesson eighteen. So you have to practice this strategy by practicing uh those lessons uh, the lesson seventeen, the previous lesson I have I have seen. So you can see by the time you are analyzing any chart. Four hour at least it will give you early entry. It will help you are trading. It will give you more confidence. Imagine doing like three trades like this every single day. 
it will boost your confidence. So if you want to grab this one hour strategy, you have to practice now on yourself so that it, it can be accurate and it can be confirmed from your subconscious. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best. Let me know once you practice one hour strategy, how it will go. Thank you and I love you.